an area. And this area on the map, I want to get to this place called Icicle Valley, which is a mod. And this place I doubt very many people explore because there doesn't seem to be many markers. And I don't sh not sure if it's a mod or it looks like a part of the original game, but it's not too far away from Riften, not too far away from Fort Greenwall, which is the Stormcloak base. Just off the main run, you walk up this valley. It's it's quite obvious where to go. It's very steep, and you meet Mike, who has a couple of things to say. Mike is done talking. He just said a, a couple of cool things, but there's this strange little abandoned hut. And you look in here, and it's Cronid's chest. And you look in it, and it's full of fine boots, fine clothes, fine hat. And I did look, and for some reason, there was Achiever's remains, which is a skull and Raider Frostblood's remain. Also, a note saying anyone who owns this deed is a possessor of the property known as Valley View. And I'm sh the more I think about it, I'm sure this must be a mod. It can't be a... it can't be a... anyway. There's a few little cool things. A cow and in Cronid's chest outside there's old Cronid who is this old orc and he's got a few things on him some arrows etc he also out of interest had a note saying any knowledge of the whereabouts of Brewer Rider Frostblood should be brought to immediate attention of Fenric Farcia in Castle Agathon Frostblood was last seen walking the west past the watchtower and the company of Achiever, the apocryphary's wife. And of course I've got their remains in my rucksack because this guy had them in his chest. Now, more more I think about it, the more this must be a mod. And I thought, okay, let's follow this way to Icicle Valley. And then I noticed another house up here. I th thought, hang on a second, none of this is on the map markers. You know, normally you'd get old Cronid's house or like just like abandoned shack or old shack and you look, here's Mirror's cottage. It's a proper location, you go in. There's a chicken. Is that Mirith? It's an empty chest. I just wondered I just looked around and thought, is there gonna be a little quest where she's been turned into a chicken or something? But no, it just looks like a normal chicken and an owned bed that you can't sleep in. So this is quite cool, but who is Merith? I can't see her around. I'm looking out here. I'm going to do a quick clear skies shout because I do hate it when it's snowing all the time in Skyrim. I know it's up north, but it doesn't have to snow all the time. That's alerted something. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Is that Mirith after me? <laughs> okay. I've just been taking a lot of damage. That's uh well half my half my health's gone. And I don't even know let's go for oh there there it is. Let's go for a bit of invisibility. Man put you know that's worth well, it'll save my ass. It's a raider. It's a raider. And tell you what, what I do with these raiders. I sneak up to this raider who decides to shoot me. He looks like a Nord. Ah! What? I missed him. This is your last mistake. I can't believe I just hit him three times, didn't manage to kill him and it looks like he's gonna try and kill me. Let's take out my shield because I desperately need that. Shield of Solitude. Ah! 
tell you what, this mission might must be worth it. Because I've spent a lot of healing potions on this. There's Ilya. Yielding, hey? What equipment do you have? And you're just gonna walk away. Careful now. Wouldn't want someone to get burned. I can't believe I'm just gonna let him walk away. Anyway, this mirrored his house. I don't know where she is. I had a quick look around here, but obviously there's a castle up there so let's go over to that castle and see if we can do this little quest man that really bugs me that I left that person alive actually he tried to he, after all did try to shoot me with an arrow and swipe me with a great sword and he wasn't an NPC he was just a a normal raider Uh, what's going on here? Frost trolls? Are they good guys? I think Valley Watchtower. Okay, let's have a look and look at this. And also, let's go and kill this frost troll. Because you do not, we do not like frost trolls. And who are these guys? He's a guardian. Blowing up an entire town. Damn college. Winterhold would never be the same. Now I'm almost certain this is a mod. Almost certain. Must be part of the. There's another guardian. What do you say? Out with it. Out with it. Okay. Here's a horse that looks like my horse, but it's not. And these guys live in here. Bear food. He's called. I can tell him to dress himself. <laughs> Do they sleep anywhere? Nope, they just. This is a proper watchtower. Where are you going? Oh, well. Cool. Okay, so it's a snowy little area, and you can grab some free food. Or steal some boots. They don't have anywhere to sleep. Here is a dead person. It looks like that's the way, although this is some pretty handy goal though. Moonstone! Oh, I need a pickaxe. Yeah, I'm always always on the lookout for moonstone. I'm just going to check over here to see if there's anything neat. Well, you can go over here, but it doesn't look like it's the way you're supposed to go. A tool. And Quicksilver, oh, so that's nice for mining some elven things. Well, this is a competitor to the 10,000 steps for sure. Is this Castle Volkia? Oh, look at that. Look at that. And a beautiful view. After my clear sky shout, of course. Ice Valley Gateway. The reason why I came over here, because on my journey, it's a, on my journal. Check the journal. It says I've been told to the Bedlam job fa steal 500 golden goods from Ice Icicle Valley without witnesses. Icicle Valley. Normally they tell you to go to hold. So these are guards. Look at it. How can I assist? Yeah, Kajiti. This one needs something. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Anyway, let's go into Icicle Valley. And this is a mod. And yeah, I haven't 
introduced any mods for a long time. I haven't played any mods for a long time because I've been quite engrossed in the actual quests, in the uh, Thieves Guild quests, in the main quests. But for once, we'll see what this has to offer. Here's Bear Food. He's followed me all this way. Well, are all dogs called Bear Food? Quite a gleaming floor. These look like the places from Labyrinthian. And then it gets a bit more tropical over here. Is that and what might you need? Hmm? That's another guardian. And what might you need? Hmm? Right, let's just have a look up these stairs. Nothing up here, this is just a a bit of a dead end. Spare food's supposed to follow you all the time. But this is kind of nice. Auckland's house. What's the time here? One thirty-eight. I'm surprised it's not unlocked. Uh, some snowberries to pick. Now I've seen a building like that. That looks like what the people use in the bathhouse mod, but I can't recall fr from where they are. I mean, this is, looks like a solitude type building. Not to detract from it, of course. It looks lovely. Outward. I'm waiting. Oh, and this looks like Thalmor Embassy type walls. What? He's dead? Okay. So I've started the quest Lord of Icicle Valley. Crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. So I'm going to be Lord of Icicle Valley. Let's get into Castle Agathon. I'll read the steward's journal while I'm in here. Unless it's some evil, evil lair. Oh dear, looks like an evil lair. Let's read it. Steward's Journal. Slay the monster Agathon. That's my mission. Jarl Agathon has been spending a lot of time alone in the chambers of late, so that my court duties have increased considerably. I'd say that I'm pleased he put so much faith in me, but it's more because he's preoccupied with his own affairs and the affairs than the affairs of the town. Eighth of the evening star, four days later. Absolutely shocking. As usual, the Jarl's working in his chambers late into the night with the most hysterical. I dare say maniacal laughter began. There's no doubt that it was a Jarl's voice, but it was more shrill. And it was as if he had two voices. I don't know what he's doing, I really don't want to know, but I fear for his well being. Five days later, this morning the Jarl held court for the first time in at least a week, announced he was no longer to be referred as a Jarl, but Lord Agathon. He was accompanied by a most hideous woman I've ever seen, a horned abomination resembling a monster but with a dissettling seductive nature. Interesting. And there was something very peculiar. The Lord's house Carl Carlin was nowhere to be seen. Instead, the monster woman followed behind the Lord Agathon and took his side while he spoke to us. Court mage Folia, who has served the Lord since she was a youth fresh from Winterhold, was dismissed as if she was a serving wench. Fifth of Morning Star. So that was pretty much about a month later. The past few weeks have been an unbelievable nightmare. Where do I begin? The entirety of Lord Agathon's personal guard has been removed from the castle and relocated to the old chapel. Car House Carl Carlin hasn't been seen in weeks. Members of the court have turned up missing and more and more of these tattoo-faced warriors have been appearing in the castle. The statuary has been defaced and people have died. When I brought my concerns to the Lord, he told me hold my tongue or he'll have it cut it out. Me, one whose father's fathers have served in this castle for generations, I must leave this place and contact Commander Aaron before things get any worse. This may be my last entry. This is a few days later. Today I'm going to attempt to leave the only home, home of home and abandon my sworn duty. I've been ignored for so long. I've hoped that no one will notice my exit, but things have transpired here that can never be forgiven. Anyone who hasn't already been fled or dismissed has been killed. Other than the Skeevers, myself and the Lord, the castle is entirely populated by Agathon's creatures. I intend to hold a conference with Commander Aaron and Mage Folia and see what can be done to end this madness. For the civil war, that will be able to raise outside help. 
Perhaps there's one powerful warrior who I've heard tale of that can come to our aid. That is me! That's me! So... Bloody dog! That dog's been following us all along. And of course they are terrible for sneaking. All the time. Look. Should I kill you? I don't want to kill you. It's time for you to go back home. Bear food, you're gonna get slaughtered. Man, that's a soldier of Agathon and he's taken one, two, three, four. Oh, they're Dramora. They are Dramora. Let's get out of here. They are tougher than the average. Shame is I put all my poisons away somewhere. I came here expecting, you know, a nice little house mod. A nice little town mod. Obviously it's not to be. I don't know what's going on there. This can't be good. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of death here. Oh dear, these guys are tough. I ran out of, of arrows. Let's drink a resist shock, because otherwise they will absolutely kill me. A solution of regeneration and I will use that virulent poison otherwise I will go to trouble and I've run out of arrows as well I've run out of arrows didn't know that was gonna happen you guys go at it so, this is the mod. This is the mod and it's full of incredibly powerful Dramora. What I will do, let's just pause things here. Because otherwise we're going to get into trouble. Oh dear. Full on Daedric armor, what am I going to do with that? Yes. Alright, those delaying tactics will hopefully buy me some time. But yeah, we'll pause things there. I'll need to get re-equipped to take out these guys.